Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So what's this video all about? Well, it's been four months since I did my last Apache video and while I stand by pretty much everything I said in it, with continued practice comes improvement and I've got a few things I'd like to add. Specifically things I wish I'd known a lot sooner, which I'll get to in the next section, and just some updates on general advice. I also just want to talk about two issues I see around the attack choppers at the moment. Now I didn't rush to make a video when the buffs came out, I really wanted to take my time and see what we had. And after really reflecting on it, I think we've got two major balance issues I'd like to discuss with you. And finally, I've heard a lot of people in game and on my channel saying they're feeling quite overwhelmed by the attack helicopters, so I just want to offer some advice on how to deal with them. So that's the structure. If you're new on the Apache journey, I hope you find it useful. If you're experienced, I'd appreciate your feedback. No one said I'm the greatest. I always go to great pains to say that. And as ever, the only thing that matters is that we're all having fun with the game. Okay, so if you're new to flying Apaches or new to the game in general, here's some things I really wish I knew about being a pilot. The first, you must practice one passing, particularly Wildcats, but any armor really. And what I mean by that is being able to take them out in a single run before they have much of a chance to respond. Now personally, since patch 5.3, I think this has become way too easy, and I'm going to discuss that in some standalone section. But that aside for the moment, this is a skill you really want to practice, so don't back away from the challenge. Next up is about specifically Nightbirds. You cannot run away from a Nightbird fight. Even the middling pilot will chase you down and shoot you in the back if you try. Believe me, I know it can be extremely painful putting in the time to learn how to fight them, but no matter how many times you wipe, it is absolutely worth investing in learning how to do it. One bit of news, which I'm not going to have the chance to test before this video goes live, is that in 6.1, the Nightbirds are getting a nerf to make them weaker at range, which from an Apache pilot's point of view is only a bit of good news. In any event, you will need to score two hits to down a Nightbird. And with a bit of practice, it's really not that difficult. And finally, some advice on how to handle jets. Great jet pilots come at you from above, but the overwhelming majority fly straight at you. There's more to say on this and I'll come back to it later. So in this next section, I just want to show how much fun I'm having, having invested the time in learning the Apache, and also the impact I can have in a game. So this first round is just showing air-to-air -air clashes, and what an opening can look like when the fight's in the sky. I hope you guys, particularly who have been with me since the beginning, can see the improvement here. But most importantly that, with practice, even normal gamers like me can pull this off. I am not a great player and that's why I'm showing this. Don't be scared to have a go. What's really great though is when you get past all of the air to air and then the Apache really comes into its element and can go off the ground armor. As you're seeing in this round, an Apache left unchecked can just completely wipe the board. I'm just showing you the highlights here, obviously I'm not going to show you every single kill because we'll be here forever, but the point is, the Apache is absolutely savage if nobody deals with it. And as you can see, a couple of stingers aren't going to cut it, really. Sure, everybody gets lucky sometimes, but it's not an answer. And this point now leads me very much to the heart of this video. At first, like many Apache pilots, I was having the time of my life when 5.3 came out. Not only because of the buffs that the Apache received, but also the very significant nerf that the primary predator, the Wildcat, received. In addition to the Tor being very heavily nerfed. I know that's still a sore spot for some, I don't want to get into it, but my personal anecdotal experience, spawn camp kills have gone way down since the Tor nerfs. And that's a great thing. But now, hopefully with this intro, I've established my credentials. I do know how to play the Apache. Never said I was the best, but I hope it gives me some legitimacy in your eyes to make a few points. And here's point number one. Wildcats are not scary anymore. They used to be. Before 5.3, flying at a wildcat like that was a death sentence. But now, as they take 25% less damage off the wildcats, it takes a very long time, as you're seeing here, to actually kill one. 
The heli also has to be pretty close to be killed. Now it's always been the case that if you did a very good run, you kept your distance and used a tow missile so the wildcat had no idea the strike was coming, you could vaporize them in one pass. And this is great. That's a good thing. But what I've noticed since 5.3 is it's a heck of a lot less risky to just fly at the Wildcat and take them head on. Take it fire from the right. They just can't put out the damage in time to stop me, and it's even worse if I've got a gunner backing me up, or if I'm backing up my pilot, like this. It just feels to me like the Wildcats have really lost their teeth. The other problem is I've got no way to stop the tow missile 127mm combination. Thermal smoke is only good if you're using an AGM, and they don't have active protection like the tanks, or the CAV, which we'll get to in a moment. It occurs to me, and I'd love to know what you think, that we're now in this very bizarre situation where the helicopters are protecting the Wildcats, not the other way around. And for me at least, that's such a change since 5.3 came out. It's really surreal now. At the beginning of a round, providing there's no air challenge to me, and I have to go deal with that, I'll simply fly across the map and wipe out the wildcat, and there's nothing it can do about it. Please indulge my sense of humor for 15 seconds. I found something which I think beautifully captures this issue. So how do we end this reign of terror? Well, in order of simplicity, I put it to you, the cab with APS and AA is new meta. The cab can actually stop the tow and the 127 mm rockets dead and punish the hell out of any attack helicopter that happened to stray too close to you. If you haven't put the AA gun on your cab, I strongly suggest you do. It will really, really mess up the other team's attack helicopter supremacy. But be warned, just like the Wildcat, there's actually quite a short range on the uh, anti-aircraft gun that goes on the CAV. So if you miss your strike and the attack helicopter pilot is good, not great, just good, they can back all the way off and smoke you from a distance. So if you miss, make sure you run away. Keep in mind the C-Rams have the same problem, they have very limited range. If you're an Apache pilot, just back all the way off and smoke them from a distance. Easy. Okay, third on the list and something I've covered extensively on this channel, so I'll just be very quick to make people aware, not everybody watches every video. Lee's is probably the ultimate infantry base counter to any type of helicopter. Nice, bro. If attack helicopters, or indeed nightbirds, or any helicopter are bothering you, I recommend taking some time to invest a few evenings in just getting these basics down. Now I'm fully aware, as many of you have kindly pointed out to me, there's a big difference between playing on PC with a keyboard and mouse and trying to use these on controller. One of these days, when I get time, I swear I'm going to give it a go on controller and see if I can give any tips. But to try and do that now would be supremely arrogant, so I'm not going to. So I'll just say if you feel like you can play Liz, do so. We need as many as we can get. Okay, so going up the difficulty tree is now the RPG or M5. Good stuff. Even with the rockets having been slowed down 17%, it's still completely viable to get the hit. Let's go. Even better is if someone puts up a soft lamp for you and you can turn it into a guided RPG. Fantastic. Target destroyed! Soft limbs are amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to the game, 
maybe check out this video. It'll explain everything. Got him. But even without the soft land, with a bit of practice, you'll get it. Vehicle disabled. Nice work. Right, now going up the difficulty tree, getting another attack helicopter to fight an attack helicopter is actually brilliant. They are very good at killing themselves. Very occasionally you see somebody who puts AA missiles onto an attack helicopter. That basically means you've just got seven seconds to take them out after you flare before they take their second round at you and you're probably gonna die. Just keep in mind, if they're using AAs, they have to stay looking straight at you. They can't dive around, so it's a very good opportunity to kill them. You just have to be quick about it. But yeah, if the attack heli's on full health, three 127 millimeters is all it takes to take him down. As this video is about the Apache, let's watch a few more because they're fun and they're cool. So in my opinion, at least going further up the difficulty tree is killing an attack helicopter with a stealth helicopter by flying overhead and dropping the bombs on them and then turning around to finish them off with your machine guns. At the very least, even if the bombs are a bit too tricky, as long as you stay above the attack helicopter, you're more maneuverable than they are. There's nothing they can do about it. You just gun them down. Yeah, what you do not want to do is go head to head. Two shots and you're done. I'm sure the Nightbirds are very good at killing attack helicopters, but you're going to have to look to somebody else. As you can see, I am not a very good pilot. I've heard people say that the tow missile is good. Um, I'm not going to discount that. All I can say is number one, I've never hit an attack helicopter with one. And two, I've never been hit by one. And whenever someone's tried, I've managed to punish them quite easily. That's it! What is very effective if you're not completely incompetent like me with a sniper rifle is to take the Rorsch rail gun. There you go, see it flashing at me? Ping to the head and you're done. What I would recommend you don't do is rely on stingers. Yes, you can get lucky like you're seeing there and catch a pilot while they're trying to fly away, but absolutely more often than not, you're just gonna give away where you are and get yourself and anyone standing next to you killed. I'd really recommend investing time learning some of the approaches we've talked about here instead. It'll be a lot less frustrating for you. So this leads me down to the second problem I think we have, and that's the attack helicopters have been given two tow missiles, and I really think two is too many. It used to be before the patch, you really had to plan your attack on a battle tank or even a wildcat if you wanted to take it down in one pass. And that was really the mark of a great pilot, in my opinion, to be able to do that. Now you can make a complete hash of it. Just like that. And instead of having to fly off and think about your failure, you can just turn around and have another try. To my mind, the second tow really blurred the line between an alright gamer like me and a truly great gamer that can consistently one pass vehicles. I am not and have never been that guy. I can do it, but not consistently. Take a look at a few more examples and see if you can see what I mean by this. I mean, look, I missed quite a lot of shots there. Sit. The other problem is that the APS cooldown window is now longer than the time it takes for my second tow missile to come around and be able to put another shot, which I think is actually quite unfair on the main battle tanks. 
If you manage to block the toe or react in time for the following 127s, you should really be rewarded for that and be able to survive, not just delay your death by a few seconds. In any case, knowing that I've got a second toe encouraged me to just take increasingly cheeky shots, safe in the knowledge that if I miss the first one, no problem, I'll get you on the second pass. And being completely honest, I think it's too far, and I think it's just not fair on the ground vehicles. Assuming that there was some kind of need to address the situation, and I would like to think that DICE acted based on evidence, I would have preferred to have seen a single tow missile remaining, but just increase the damage. That way you still have to make the choice between risking a longer shot and messing up the pass, or holding the shot, getting in closer, and taking the risk that comes with that, particularly if you're approaching a cav or a wildcat. But anyway, that's just my take, what do you think? Alright, so let's just finish up a few little updates on advice. So as I was saying at the beginning, one of the mistakes I made was running away from jets. The advice I gave you in my original video was that you should do so. I would like to withdraw that for the record. If you have a jet, turn towards them, face them head on. With the 127s, you can take them out before they can take you out. This seemed really, really counterintuitive to me, but the more I did it, the better I got at it, and the results were fantastic. If you've got a gunner, it's even better. There is really very little chance of the jet taking you out before you take them. It's also very, very funny watching their plans unravel. That's probably got to be one of the things that burns the most in the game, actually. Actually, no, I retract that. This is what burns most in the game. Bet that pilot's laughing at me right now, don't you think? Mm hmm. Sierra, we got problems. Russians grabbed up territory. Task force strength is noticeably down. Sector Charlie is under enemy control. Package ready. Down. Oh, that's not funny! What can I say? I'm a very petty guy. <laughs> I'm just including this because one, I think is funny. I hope you found it funny too. But also genuinely, one of my favorite things about getting killed when I'm playing the Apache is my revenge. I have occasionally been known to hold grudges. Okay, last thing I've got to say, now that the gunner seat has been buffed, please, if you're in the gunner seat, don't shoot at the tank before the missiles hit. Otherwise, the tank's going to put their APS up before the rockets hit like you just saw there and block all the shots and we have to go around again. Try to time your shot to line up with the pilot firing their missiles so that doesn't happen. Nice. So on this next one, we weren't entirely sure what we were shooting at. Is it a wildcat? Is it a tour? So I just waited until the missiles arrived and then opened up. Wildcat's down. Right. So yeah, if you're fighting a tank, just let your pilot shoot first. On the roof. If you know that the target you're firing at is actually a wildcat, they don't have APS, so there's no reason to hold back. Just fire away. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that was useful. I think that's pretty much everything I've got to say about uh, the Apache. Let's kill some more Nightbirds because I hate them. And I'll leave you with this, a funny glitch. Never seen it before, never seen it since. See if you can spot what happened. Have a great one, guys. See you later. We have secured more sectors than our enemy. Make sure you defend them.